It's fast, it's deadly, and it's one of the most powerful interceptors ever built. Meet the MiG-31 Foxhound, a Cold War era beast that still rules the skies in the 21st century. With blistering speed, high altitude performance, and a radar system that was decades ahead of its time, the MiG-31 was designed to counter one threat, American bombers and cruise missiles flying toward Soviet airspace. Welcome to Armory Unveiled, where today we dive deep into the story of the MiG-31 Foxhound, from its inception during the Cold War to its technological marvels and its surprising relevance in today's battlefield. To understand the MiG-31, we must first go back to the MiG-25. Nicknamed Foxbat, the MiG-25 was the Soviet Union's answer to high-speed American reconnaissance aircraft like the SR-71 and bombers like the B-58 and B-52. But as U.S. tactics evolved to include low-flying cruise missiles and stealth bombers, the Soviets needed something more advanced. A plane that could fly fast, patrol huge areas, and intercept multiple targets at once. Thus, the MiG-31 program began in the early 1970s, led by the legendary McCoyan Design Bureau. The MiG-31 looks like a MiG-25 at first glance, but it's a completely different beast. While it borrows the Foxbat's airframe design, the MiG-31 features an entirely new avionics suite, stronger airframe materials, and two massive D-30F6 turbofan engines. Max speed, Mach 2.83. Operational ceiling, 20,600 meters or 67,600 feet. Range, 3,000 plus kilometers with drop tanks. Climb rate, over 200 meters per second. Unlike the MiG-25, which would risk engine damage at high speeds, the MiG-31 was built to cruise at Mach 2.35 for extended periods. It also features variable geometry air intakes, strengthened undercarriage, and a two-seat configuration, pilot and weapon systems officer. One of the MiG-31's most groundbreaking features was its radar, the Zaslon. This was the world's first passive electronically scanned array, PESA radar, fitted into a fighter jet. The Zaslon M system can detect targets up to 400 kilometers away and track up to 10 targets simultaneously, engaging four at once. This allowed the MiG-31 to become a true force multiplier, patrolling vast expanses of Siberian airspace with an unmatched radar footprint. The MiG-31 doesn't just detect threats, it destroys them. Primary missile, R-33, long-range semi-active radar homing. Others, R-40TD, R-60, and later R-37M with a 300 plus kilometer range. Gun, internal GSH-623M, 23 millimeter cannon, though rarely used, with a missile range that could outrun most fighters and an altitude advantage that made it perfect for intercepting high-flying reconnaissance aircraft. The Foxhound was tailor-made for dominance. MiG-31s operate in teams. A single flight of four MiG-31s can cover over 1,000 kilometers of airspace, linked through secure data links. One jet uses its radar to scan, while others run in silent mode receiving data. This made it incredibly difficult for NATO aircraft to slip through undetected, especially across the wide open Arctic and Siberian airspace. While never involved in a hot war, MiG-31s frequently intercepted U.S. reconnaissance aircraft over the Barents Sea and Pacific Ocean. Through the years, the MiG-31 evolved. MiG-31 BBM, upgraded avionics, multi-role capability, MiG-31 BSM, digital cockpit, improved radar and R-37M compatibility, MiG-31K, carrier of the hypersonic Kinzhal missile, MiG-31D-DP, anti-satellite platform prototypes. The MiG-31K carrying the Kinzhal missile gave the Foxhound a strategic strike capability capable of hitting naval or land targets with hypersonic force. Today, over 100 MiG-31s remain in service with the Russian Aerospace Forces, and while the aircraft is nearing 50 years since its first flight, it remains a critical asset for long-range air defense and strike missions. There are ongoing rumors of a MiG-41, a supposed sixth-generation successor, but until then, the MiG-31 flies on. From Cold War Sentinel to 21st century hypersonic carrier, the MiG-31 Foxhound is a symbol of speed, 
precision, and power. A legacy aircraft that proves old warbirds can still fly with fangs. If you enjoyed this in-depth look at the MiG-31, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what aircraft you'd like to see next. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.